Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft Season 5 with me, False Symmetry, and today we are over here and we're just about to head over to the gaming district. That is this way. It's actually called Stress's Base. I wouldn't have guessed it. I didn't actually see the sign. Noth nothing's that... That That is Stress... Is that not Stress's Base? Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to open that just in case it's like hooked up to some like TNT or something. I don't want to mess around with that. We're, we're going to leave that. We're going to leave that. So heading on through to the gaming district. I came through here the other day and uh, yeah, Zedaf was just lay, laying there, sleeping the night away. So this is the gaming district. I haven't actually been over here properly. Like I say, I, I came through there. There were spoilers because it was in my live stream and I was like, you know what? I don't want to spoil it. I kind of want to just hang out here at some point when there aren't any spoilers. This is currently spoilers, but by the time this episode comes out, it shouldn't be. So that is why I'm filming over here. This, by the way, looks just incredible. It reminds me of, uh, do you guys remember I made a big tent? I actually forgot about the fact that I made a big tent before. Um, I, I made it like season two, no, season three of Hermitcraft, was it? I don't know, it was pretty cool. We've got a, uh, oh, general admission. Are you meant to be wondering, does he, is he wearing Tango's, is that Tango? Is that, is that Tango up there? Wearing a, a pink dress. I mean, this this seems quite likely right now. Oh no, or is it a cat person? Okay, I'm I'm not. Just gonna take a photo and then run away. <laughs> Cause that's how you deal with when <laughs> when you see something uh, that you just can't explain. You just take a photo and then run away. Um. Anyway, yeah, we need to head in here because this apparently has the rule books for the hot swap challenge what did that do it swapped the challenge oh that's so clever oh it swapped from there to that that that's really cool i think it started it going and now it's just going to go on forever right rule books um the reason they weren't at tango space which is what he said in his video is because they're over here so what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to copy it myself because i bought over a spare book because then it doesn't really matter too much about um, me taking it so there we go hot swap copy of a copy uh, Joe would be proud. Sweet. There you go. I've got an achievement for Joe Hills also. Anyway, let's head out of here because blimey, that is the most noisy thing. And um, yeah, this book is for a uh, thing that might be coming in the future. Yeah, you guys won't see it just yet, I don't think. It should be maybe coming in the future. Get excited. It should be fun. It should be fun. So, since we aren't going to be working on doing the hot swap challenge or any kind of advocating stuff, instead I've decided we're actually going to finish up this church over here. Oh, I feel bad that like, there's no path this way to it. Nah, that would be weird, wouldn't it? I think I want to walk along the paths and like, kind of see if there's anything I'm missing. Like, maybe this would be better going up here. I don't know, it's here now. I guess if I put some trees and stuff either side, it won't be too weird. And then I guess I walk this way. We go past Mr. Iron Golem. Hello, how's it going? And then it doesn't really make sense here because you have to go up and then down. I do fancy doing like a chair or something up there at some point or like a bench. It, it It's very much like a, there's, a, there's a moment in Life is Life is Strange where you like, you're on like a cliff, you know, next to the lighthouse. Like imagine that was a lighthouse. That would be pretty, pretty accurate. Anyway, that's the kind of feeling I get from that. So that's why that is there. Um, and we could even add like a little reference to it or something there, maybe, I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, the tower is pretty much done. I need to actually just finish up this side. Also need to get rid of all the dirt inside. The interiors are going to come way, way later. I like to have a build built completely exterior-wise before I do the interior. Um, or like, I like to live with the build first to, you know, see what it looks like inside and then, and then figure out what I want inside. I mean, churches are pretty simple. They have like, you know, the chairs and you know, the altar, and then, like, maybe, like, a back room back here sort of thing. This this might be the bell tower. I think that's pretty accurate. Oh, I've got some dark prismarine. I'm going to finish up the uh, the tower real quick, do all of that jazz, and then we are going to start work on this. And to do this, I'm going to have to rip out all of the stone brick and replace that with, I think, spruce wood is what I'm going to go with, similar to the houses. Okay, quick question for you guys, because there is something I've just noticed about my playstyle recently. Hopefully the recording isn't jiggly. If it's jiggly and horrible, I'm sorry. I'm trying to render in everything, all the things, right now, because I'm away. But anyway, um, yeah, I've not brought a bed to a project in forever. There's going to be a poll, because I'm actually seriously interested in hearing if you guys 
have a bed at your project, like whatever you're working on, do you bring a bed with you or do you not? Because I've not done that for like the whole season so far, yet I feel like I used to do that all the time and it's, it's so much more practical. Have I literally just lost my mind just by not bringing my bed? Just, just stupid, right, okay, if I'm ever working on a project elsewhere and I haven't got a bed with me, tell me, okay, tell me I'm being stupid, because blind me. That is so much more helpful. So before I go too crazy, which I feel like I've already done a little bit of craziness, I've sort of been trying to plan out where windows are going, which is difficult actually, I'm gonna be honest, it, I'm having some difficulty planning where windows are going. Thinking I want long ones at the front of here, also I don't know about this strip, this strip of dark wood after I finished choking to death. Blimey, I don't know what happened there, my, my voice literally was just like, nope, nope, you're gonna choke for a little bit, and then you can carry on recording. <laughs> Oh dear. Anyway, um, yeah, so like that dark strip all the way along the bottom there. I like it here. That's what I put it there for. And then I was like, oh, I wonder what would happen if I continue it. Or leave it. I could always change those to stairs and add some detail there. I've left the uh, an archway to, you know, so that I remember that I want to add something there. Uh, into maybe the bottom of the, like a secret little entrance, like a little pirate cave entrance. Maybe this isn't actually a real church. Maybe, maybe some pirates have like, you know, they've taken over and, you know, are just using it as like a base of operations or something. I don't know. Is that a thing pirates would do? Possibly not. I don't know. Anyway, I also wanted to add some more, like, I wanted to add a little bit of stone from that. I think this might be the way of doing it. But I don't know. Maybe not. Right. I think here, though, I think that's like too much window. I think... I think we're going a little bit too over the top with the windows, and also I don't think I want a window next to the stone brick, so that might work better. Looks odd. And that, I might leave that. Maybe we'll have windows there. So I think for now, rather than going with stained glass, we're just going to go with white. White glass, um, rather than like bright colours or anything. Just because I feel like you can kind of gauge where windows go a little bit better by just picking one colour. We can add we can add special colours later on. In fact, that's what we're going to be doing. So, I've got a lot more work to do here, guys. I'm going to go absolutely ham with the walls now. Concentrate on them because it's getting late in the UK and I don't want to spend all of my time forever and ever, all night, going doing the, the whole thing. As much as I'm passionate about this project right now, I think, I think I do have to sleep at some point. So I'm going to make a little roof here, little roof there. Then I might start on a, on a bigger roof there, like, like that. I think that's what the roof's going to look like to contrast the spiky one up there. Should be cool. Fingers crossed. Well, the walls are complete and I am a happy false because look at that. Looks so cool. Okay, it looks better from the air. Which, I mean, to be honest, I mean, once all these buildings are done, there are going to be way more in this district. It's going to look great. Now, I've left the mushroom in there. Because I've come up with a better idea about what I should do... I'm not sure about the back. There's, there might be too many of those, but I do think they look good. And they'll look better once the roof is on, because the roof will look like this, and they will kind of match the roof with the, you know, stone bricks or the jazz. Um, now, I need to head up here, because I need to start actually on the roof itself. And I've sort of done this bit a bit higher here. So I think I worked out that there'll be one block here, and then it'll go up, go up by two, and that this will work. If not, I can move it down by one. Today is Cub fans' lucky day, apparently. I'm actually looking forward to hearing why it's lucky. Tune in tomorrow to find out why Cub fan is lu lucky. <laughs> oh, <laughs> anyway, let's get on with this roof. Yes. Yeah, so I think the roof is gonna go here, here, here. And then we're going to continue upwards. Okay, this is going to be difficult. This is going to be difficult. And then it's going to go up by one. And then it's going to go over by two. And then, I think, this will be the centre. Will it be the centre? I don't know. Uh, let's try it quickly on this side. See if it works on this side too. And then if so, we'll have a good... That's two, I think. And then... Just found a super rare thing. Oh my goodness, he's not even going to tell us what. You'll have to go figure out by uh, by his video, unless he actually tells us. But uh, yeah, I need to build a lot more wall there. I think I'm actually going to put another window. Now, like I said previously, the windows are white. They will be stained glass at some point. In fact, actually, I can let you guys in on that. Stained glass is really easy. Like, I know the witch, the witch thing when I asked you guys only... Well, actually, no, quite a lot of you guys did send in designs, but I feel like this is even easier, right? You could even do this on like pixel art or like paint or something. One, two, three, four, five, six, along, three up, one across, two at the top, it's an even number, 
And then I think I'm going to do like an arch to the top as well. You'll be able to reference that in a second. And there's also that along the bottom. But yeah, if you can come up with a cool design, especially if it references something, I will be so happy. Actually, that, that will be way better. I don't really like making stained glass windows. I always go with like the classic hill, sky, sun. But maybe, maybe you guys can make that look good too. I don't know. But I think, yeah, if we can go with something less traditional... <laughs> or traditional in my sense of the word, that could be pretty cool. I'm looking forward to seeing your guys' designs. Uh, I'm at Full Symmetry on Twitter if you want to send me them on there. Also, I can't seem to end the pearl up here. This is totally not my like fifth stick try. Okay, now I get up, I'm gonna end the pearl back down there. No, don't do it. Don't, don't. Okay, good. I sort of saved it. I half saved it. That counts, right? <laughs> Okay, and I think that's going to be the top right there. There we go. That should be pretty cool for a, uh, a design for a stained glass window. Thanks in advance to everybody that sends them in, because, uh, yeah. And also thanks for the witch people. I will I will do a witch potion shop soon. Don't worry, I will build it. I just uh, haven't got around to it yet. Look at that. Oh, okay, I'm going to finish off the roof, guys. I'm going to literally complete it, except for adding the clay, because I don't have a lot of clay. I still haven't finished that roof. <laughs> I'm so behind, it's so sad. Ah. Now, if that isn't beautiful, I don't really know what is. I think that looks really good. I love the fact that this this part coming down all the way is like, was my best idea. Was my best idea. Imagine that being stained glass. Impulse is now sleeping. Well done, Impulse. It's not, you know, daytime or anything. <laughs> I actually thought I would wait till like, uh, the sun was coming up to record because it looks really pretty. Yeah, you can see. This is the part I haven't done on this roof. But look, it looks really good. I'm actually really happy with it. I need to do like the edging. I need to do the edging of the roof, which I'm sure has a real name, IRL. Um, I don't know what it is though. So feel free to clue me in on that because false is an idiot apparently. Um, the mushroom is still inside, but just the, the room we have in here is, let's just say a lot larger than I expected. And therefore we've got a lot of interior to work on, but there's no way I have any chance in anything to get any part of that done today. Um, I do want to... Oh, actually, that's going to be a bit weird. I don't know. We're going to work on the interior of the, t the, the tower at a different time too. I think the way, what I want to do is maybe make the interior... like Other than the path area... Oh, do I not have any of those? Let me quickly grab some slabs. So other than the main path, which I sort of want coming in and then going along... Let's sort of, which is the set? Oh, no, there isn't a center block, is there? There's only, there's two. Dang it, okay, this is going to have to go this way then. It won't stop there randomly, I'm sure, but we'll have to have it stop somewhere, I don't know where. So we'll have it go that way, and then this way, and this will be where, like, the altar is, like, with the back backdrop of the, uh, gotta have the, the window as a black backdrop, right? Gotta have that as the backdrop. Have, like, an altar there, and then I think we want to go with dark... I think I want to keep it quite dark inside. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the inside and then I'm going to sort of destroy it. I think that's my plan. I'm going to do the whole like, you know, people have overtaken it and, you know, there's mushrooms growing in it. I might even cut like a hole in that wall or something. Uh, but it's always easier to do that via, you know, making something perfectly and then destroying it afterwards. It's like no, 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 there's almost like no point trying to do it the other way. It just doesn't work. Um... Feel free to disagree, but I don't know. Every time I've done it previously, um, there we go. I wasn't middle. I was trying to middle click, and I didn't actually have the block in my inventory. Genius. Uh, but yeah, oh yeah, dark like that <gasps> with um, oak oak seats. Um, with a like stone, a really cool stone uh, altar with maybe like a secret entrance oh, just down to the bottom area that is down there. Um, and then we need like some kind of cool staircase, like a, maybe a spiral staircase up to the top where the bell will hang. Ah, oh, just so many cool ideas coming to me right now. I think I might fill in a little bit more of this, uh, this floor just to get some good vibes going on. Some, some inspiration flowing for both myself and you guys if you want to get involved. And, um, we're not going to touch it anymore just in case I want to change it. Because, yeah, I don't like changing things if I've done them completely. Yeah, but that mushroom looks really cool inside. Yeah, okay, Mushroom Kingdom it is. 
So I was thinking about what other work I should do on it. I've done a little bit of finishing off on the roof around the edges. And then I was like, I need to add a little bit of detail just to give you guys a bit of a gist as to how it's going to look. So what I'm going to do is gather up some leaves. I think I've got leaves already over there. I need myself some custard. And I sort of want to show you what I mean by the mushroom. Inside it a little bit. And kind of make that look a little bit more messy and... You know, like it's growing. I might add, add some more mushrooms in there, possibly too. Sm smaller ones or something. I don't really know, but uh, we'll figure something out, I'm sure. Yeah, so this kind of thing might look quite nice, I think. Just have that there, and then, like, this would continue, but I can't bother to make that. And then you'd have, like, grass around it, possibly. I need to add some bone meal. Ta-da, bone meal, ta-da, bone meal. There you go, that kind of thing. Dude, just cause, just because I think it'll be too plain otherwise, right? Oh, I forgot about that. I forgot about leaving that mark there. I should probably remove this real quick. Did I get rid of it all? I think so, I think so. But, um, yeah, so I think what I'm going to do is add a few leaves around the front. Add some, like, you know, just a little bit of this here and there. You know, grow some of this up. Just to add a little bit of something. I don't want to go too crazy because I am going to be doing the whole, like, ground uh, details and stuff like that. But I do think just adding a little bit of, like, some leaves especially, just, you know, crawling up the side might be quite nice. Because that'll go really, really nicely with the idea inside too, with a broken, you know, area with the mushrooms. Oh, it's so good, so good. I'm really, really excited by that. I'm going to have some, like, broken broken stair, like, um, seats and stuff. Oh, it's going to look so good. It's going to look better than uh, than if it was pristine, I think. Yeah, we'll go with that. Oh, I have a friend coming to say hi. How's it going? Oh, I really hope this is... What? What? Since when did they say you're on fire? Oh, do... what? Does this happen with all of them, or is that just that guy? Does he have, like, a flame... Did he have like, just a flame sword? Maybe. But anyway, look at... Like, already it's looking really good. Dude, he was standing right there. That's why I had to kill his friend. And then I was like, oh, I bet there's, like, another one somewhere. Anyway, I'm going to climb up this a little bit. I'm going to go with a little bit of... A little bit of this. So I don't have room for my head. My head's too large. There we go. Right, okay. Now I'm going to do a bit of a fly around little dealio to end the episode. What do you think of this? I want your honest feedback. Oh, I like it. <laughs> See, I'm like asking for honest feedback and then I'm just like, well, I like it. So at least if you guys don't... I, yeah, I need to sort those out. But overall... I think that's a pretty solid build. It obviously hasn't got, you know, all the bells and whistles and stuff. But, in general, like that, right there, looks like a good start. I think I've just got to spend a lot more, like, little, like time on, like, the little details. Like, this little bit here is, like, perfect. It's great. But, like, the rest of it isn't. You know, because I just, I just don't have the time at the moment, sadly, to put the time into the details. You know, usually I would do that, but, um... But yeah, I think I'm going to save that for live stream for, for the time being, seeing as though I'm a little bit on the busy side. But I'm very, very happy with it. Let me know how you think down below, guys. I love reading the comments, even if I don't reply to absolutely all of them. I do read absolutely every single one. So leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. See ya! When Stanley approached the end of the video, he clicked the subscribe button.